The first part of the installation walkthrough will cover the required setup in ACI. Since this part of the setup is highly dependent on the customer's ACI environment, our integration does not provide an automated setup for these components. The reference architecture used here is available on the front page of the GitHub repository. The integration requires the following constructs in the common tenant. The Apprenda VRF is used as a common policy domain for both the Apprenda tenant and the default tenant. As shown in the reference architecture, it is consumed by the bridge domains in both tenants. The use of a common VRF simplifies the policy setup. We'll refer to this in the future as a common VRF. The L3 out we will use is L3 common. This provides connectivity with resources external to the ACI environment and must be configured for the client's network. To communicate with the L3 out, a L3 out contract is required. This allows any EPG that consumes it access to resources external to ACI. We'll refer to this in the future as the common L3 contract. The Apprenda contract provides connectivity between EPGs in the Apprenda tenant and EPGs in the default tenant. It must reside in common for EPGs created by Contive to consume the contract. We'll refer to this as the common Apprenda contract. The Apprenda tenant contains the EPGs used by Apprenda nodes and contains the contracts required for communication between nodes. In our setup, we have segregated nodes by OS. As shown in the reference architecture, each EPG provides the common Apprenda contract and uses the Apprenda A bridge domain. The Apprenda A domain corresponds to the Apprenda domain in the reference architecture. Again, each of these EPGs and bridge domains uses the common VRF. The last constructs required by the integration reside in the default tenant. Since this tenant is less dependent on client network configuration, it's configured by the integration's CLI.